Have you ever wondered what newcomers think of Port Alberni? What catches their eye and inspires them to stay? Well, for artist Chris Doman, it started right here at Harbour Quay and the view up Argyle Street. It's, it's almost like an obelisk if you put it on the flat. Argyle Street's just standing there and at the top is this wonderful, wonderful mountain. It has people with, uh, who are happy, it has people who are sad, it has things coming and going and yeah, it has clear cuts and it has logging trucks and so yeah, they're all in my, all in my artwork. And given that Chris's impression of Argyle Street is multifaceted, it's fitting that the art it inspired is also made up of layers. Print, stencils, etching and painting that he combines into something that he calls multiples. There are about four different uh, techniques, and um, so I mix them all up. And um, I, you know, probably I shouldn't call them anything, but just to give people a hint, you know, that there are a number of techniques in it, all combined in one. And I think it's I think it's because uh, I don't like to be nailed down. You know, if I just did prints, I think I'd get bored. So, and then if I paint. Uh, somehow I get bored with that, but it combine them up, you know, you can sort of blame the bad painting and carry on with the printmaking, and then when that doesn't go well, you can blame the printmaking, so, yeah. Somebody came up to me last night and said, uh, oh, I thought that I didn't like abstract art, but I really kind of like yours, because I can see, you know. So it's, it's hovering in the abstract and then little clues uh, for people to maybe glom onto, you know, even just a title, Argyle Street or whatever it is, and they look at it and, and try and see something in it, which is good. That's what people, you know, I like people to do, is to look closely at a piece of artwork. A collection of Chris's multiples is currently on exhibit at Islands Gallery on Argyle Street, and he's called it, somewhat tongue-in-cheek, Argyle Needs Painting and that was because I had to paint it, but actually since, since the show went up or since the title was known, two buildings right next door to the gallery have been painted and one up near the theatre. So, you know, I'm not saying there's a connection, but it's kind of serendipity or something. Argyle Needs Painting will be on exhibit at the Islands Gallery until August 31st. In Port Alberni, for Shaw TV, I'm Nancy Wilmot.